Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys. It's pretty big so settle in. I think it'll have some length to it. Um, I've got a bunch of little orders here from a bunch of stores. And I have some planner accessories and just random stuff. And then if you stick to the end, I have some um, nail polish and candles that I got. I thought they're like planner girl items. Um, <laughs> I feel like everyone's like getting into wax melts and candles. I'm still buying candles because I don't know. <laughs> and um, and everyone's into nail polish, especially since it's harder to get our nails done at the moment. So I thought I'd show you. I've already like used this stuff, so I can you know, give you a proper opinion. But yeah, everything will be timestamped and listed down below if you want to move around. But definitely stick to the end for candles and nail polish because I think that's fun. But yeah, I've got a little bit of everything here, so let's get straight into it. I hope you enjoy the haul. So my first order here is from Wish Upon Magic, and she included this um, foiled, you can see the foil there, um, sticker of her logo. So it's just like a clear sticker, um, but you've probably seen it from Andrea's uh, SPC hauls, uh, and I'm ordered it from her a couple times now so I do the same thing as Andrea's that I just load up my Etsy cart because she only puts up like one sticker at a time and these are vinyls um so yeah so I just press purchase when I have a bunch of them ready so I had a big pile this time mostly because she did this one series that I like needed all of them <laughs> um but first we got this little come on focus this little um, heart love, like a little comment love, but it's like the Mickey head. It's a really cute little one. Probably like fit on the parts of my laptop. Then this is a clear one. So I have to like, I think that's on my limit there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just zooming as far as we can. That'll be easier. All right, so we have this little drink me and some really beautiful crystal um vase and this is actually a clear sticker so it doesn't won't have the white behind it so sort of transparent this is another transparent one why are you doing this to me camera Try to get in focus all right going into manual from here okay <laughs> but this is like the disneyland d um and then sort of drawn up like architecturally wise or like just like design wise and this is um clear as well so you just have like the black lines and the d really cool then she had this set of storybooks so these i think actually feature in all these films and i'm so excited there was an enchanted book because i love enchanted and you don't really see it you don't see it at all at the park so much because then they would have to um get pay rights to Amy Adams' looks, like her face. So that's why Enchanted is not really shown anywhere in Disney stuff, but I love that film. So I'm glad I got the sticker of the storybook. I wasn't going to get the Snow White one, but honestly, the white book is so beautiful. And I love Snow White as like the first film. So pick that one up. Because Cinderella, that was my childhood favorite, so I had to pick this one up. Of course, I got The Little Mermaid. I don't think that was a book because this goes over like the ocean, but the, as a book, it's really beautiful. I love her design of like the shell clasp. And all the matching florals as well. And then we have Sleeping Beauty, the beautiful gold book. And I love Sleeping Beauty in like the medieval art style. So that is everything I got from Wish Upon Magic on Etsy. So this is an order from a new to me shop and they are a Finnish shop. I believe they're in Helsinki, I can't remember where. Um, but they were suggested to me by a viewer, but I'd actually found them previously through Facebook and I thought about buying the train stickers, but then you know the COVID hit, so I was like, why should I bother buying train tickets for a train? stickers for a while um but now we're possibly we are most likely 
I think we're moving, we're moving to another city basically and we'll be traveling by train possibly more than once so I wanted to pick up her train stickers um so this is there's another stuff okay here we go this is Sinekara stationery um and thank you for your order and everything let's just get English on that um but yeah she's Sinekara stationery um I think that's just her link as well like dot com but here's like the information there if you want to take a look, she has some really cute looking stickers. Um, even though she's, you know, and she's in Finland. So if you're in Europe, that's really useful. But you can buy from Finland elsewhere. This came with this card. I probably should have looked out what it said before, but maybe a Finnish viewer can tell me. And it came with this cute little die cut of the matching, like, little boots. But I just picked up two sheets of the trains. And these look exactly like the trains here in Finland, the VR trains. Um, and she had three colorways. I just picked up two. She had a bright colorway, and then this is the muted one. I liked how this had like the gray one here, especially uh, for the muted. And then she had a pastel. Um, so yeah, you get all the pastel colors, but you kind of get a gray one here as well. But I really love the pastel purple and pink. And you get sort of the lighter blue. So those are two colors. They're really nice. It's a premium matte. It's super soft. Excellent cuts. Excellent printing. Yeah. There's like nothing wrong with that printing at all. You get tons um, of the trains. So this will last me forever. I'm pretty sure. Because I don't do that many train rides. Um, in terms of these kind of trains. So yeah. But. I've been, I've been searching far and wide for cute but sort of like more neutral train stickers because I have fox and cactus ones but they're very cartoony, very bright so I'm happy to find some muted and pastel ones that just are a train, you know. <laughs> and they're a really good size as well for like putting on top of a, I would probably put these on top of the middle of the box and then like have the trip below it maybe. But you could put it on like a quarter label, half box. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. I'm definitely going to check out the rest of her stickers because it's just excellent quality. So that is sinakarastationery.fi. But it is linked down below if you want to look. So I have just a little order here from Carolyn X Love, which is Carolyn Plant's new jewelry website. And of course I had to pick up two little sets of earrings. And how cute is her packaging? I love this hollow one and I like how because um they're like sealed and everything because obviously the jewelry you want them to be clean and safe just to open it um I possibly could have cut that so it'd be like nicer but I'm just gonna cut it now <laughs> I rushed that up but I just bought two pairs of earrings I don't, I haven't changed my earrings at all yet because I feel like, I, I mean, I've had them over a year, but I'm still feeling like they're kind of healing. I don't know. I had a lot of prior issues with one of my ear piercings, like, they've been pierced like three times now. So I don't want to like, whoops, mess them up. Okay. So these, but these look really cute and they're small and they're my, more, so more my kind of thing. Um, I don't know how huggies work. Oh, you just open them. Okay. I'm not good at earrings, you guys, but I picked up this pair of huggies. I'm going to try and, so this pair, so they're silver and they hug the earlobe and they just have like diamantes right across the front and then it has a little triangle with diamantes. And this pair was called Jess. Um, I don't think it's named after me, but um, there are many Jesses and Jessicas in the world <laughs> and planet community. But I was like, well, they have my name on it, so I gotta buy them. And they're so, so pretty. Like, you just have a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a hang there with the huggy. And then just got these studs. Hopefully, you'll we'll see these ones. Um, it's so hard to film such tiny things. Uh, but this has adorable little um, 
safety pin. Sorry, I should hold it this way up. You can see the safety pin, and that also has like little diamantes. And I've only got one piece in each load, but eventually I'd like to get a second piercing. I don't think piercing is... And tattooing is alright at the moment, but not, I just don't think about piercing at the moment. But um, I do want to get a second set of earlobes so then you can wear them like that on the earlobe. I think that would be really, really cute. But for now I can just try um, one or the other. But yeah, so I'm going to try and <laughs> change out my earrings soon because I think that would be really fun. Um, I've always loved earrings, but... I have a huge collection of clip-ons and not really any pierced ones, so I'm excited for these. And I love Carolyn, and she has such a good taste in jewelry. So yeah, I'm excited about them. I think so my nail polish went in there. Anyway, <laughs> it'll be fine. But yeah, so that, that was my little order from Carolyn Love. So now I have an order from Sadie Stickers. This is a $2 Tuesday with... Her leopard print designs. I just have my little freebie here. It's like a satin champagne gold on a nude little headers. I don't actually tend to keep these and I just don't find myself reaching for them. But yeah, I love me some CD stickers $2 Tuesdays. And I really, really love a leopard print at the moment, like everybody else. But I really loved the way that she designed it, it's like, it's not too much. And I freaking love this design where it is the um, straight line and then just the edges are filled in with a pattern. I just think that looks so attractive. Like, look at that. It looks amazing. And I'd love this in like other designs. Like, say you had hearts behind there or Mickey heads or, I don't know, I think they'd be super attractive on, <laughs> Full boxes. Plus, you still let the art shine, which is what I like. I like to see the art. So I picked up just some full box overlays in silver, hollow, and gold. I don't really. I only buy rose gold from Scribble Prints Co. because I like it to match. And so yeah, there we go. We got those. And then I also picked up these, which even better. Like it's just. You see there autofocus again here we go um, it's just a little touch of the leopard prints spots i think that's gorgeous still again lets the art shine but i don't know i think they look really classy and i love them so <laughs> that was my little order from sadie stickers for her leopard print she did recently bring it back for um bring back my favorites but i feel like this is going to be brought back again because, yeah, I think we all really love these designs. And these are beautiful classic designs. And I would love more in, like, like other things, not just leopard. I think that would be really cute. So that was my order from Sadie Stickers. I have a very tiny order from Sticky Essentials. Um, she brought out a whole bunch of new scripts in new font. <clears throat> and I think this has actually got two fonts. Um, but, yeah, I just want to pick up. She had like single sheets of these um, fast food, which I really wanted. So I just got them all in black and they are in clear scripts. And yeah, I just really wanted like one sheet of some of these. I really like the um, SPC fast food sheet, but it has, it's literally only Burger King McDonald's I would use because we don't have like Sonic or Taco Bell or anything like that. Oh wait, Helsinki is Taco Bell. But how many times am I going to buy that, buy that? So, yeah, I got Sticky Essentials scripts because she had them by themselves. And I really like the thick new font. I think it's really cute. And you get a ton on this sheet. So we got Burger King, which fun fact in Australia is called Hungry Jacks. At least definitely in South Australia where I'm from. Because there used to be a hamburger shop called Burger King. So they, when the franchise arrived, they couldn't be called that. So they're called Hungry Jacks. <laughs> uh, but it has the exact same menu, and it looks the same. It's just called HJ's. So. But yeah, Burger King. <laughs> and then we have McDonald's, which of course in Australia we call Macca's. But I think I actually ordered a custom script from someone that said Macca's. So I'm excited for that. But it's nice to have McDonald's as well. It's just that's not really how I know it is. <laughs> 
um, us, uh, yeah, us Australians nickname everything. Um, and then girl talk, just for like when I'm talking to my, um, well, anyway, like most of my friends that I chat to are girls. So I feel like a girl talk, because I thought that was nice. And then this is in a different font, but it's just groceries. I like how it's like, it could be for delivery or ordering, and it's like a thinner, more dainty script. Yeah, but I thought I could just use that because I, you do a lot of groceries in life, I think. So I'm happy to do that. All my nail polish chipping everywhere. But yeah, that was my little order from Sticky Essentials. Her scripts are looking really nice. These ones are all cut really nicely. Um, she has good foiling as well, but I just wanted black scripts, so super easy. That's Sticky Essentials. Some more black scripts this time from Letters to Apollo. I just found, I think I'm mostly just buying um, foiled eye scripts from SBC. Uh, I just find it easy just to get black because it's like, if, especially if there's multiple ones that I want, it just becomes a pain. <laughs> to order all the foils, so black it is, um, and I write in black ink anyway. This was a $2 Tuesday from a while ago, it has, um, I've also had this mail sitting in my US address box from, uh, for a while, so the, some of this is a bit old, but she had this $2 Tuesday where she had therapy, uh, I'm not currently in therapy, but you have to do this whole thing, it's like in Australia where you have to Talk to a GP first and then I'll refer you to a therapist. So <laughs> I don't know if I am yet, but I still wanted the therapy stickers for other reasons. Um, and then I have lazy day, because I definitely have lazy days, <laughs> especially these days. Um, I have two budgets, and when I move cities, I'm definitely going to be budgeting more, so I'm hopefully going to do more budgeting videos with you guys so I want to do that so I can be like mark videos or just budgeting in general then I took this is how old it is these are the black lives matter two dollar Tuesdays and I picked up two of these and I thought these are really cool because it's like it's accountability ones so you have like read learned watched and discussed in terms of um, learning and to, to be anti-racist so I picked up two of those and I guess they can be used for other things, but I think I want to solely keep these sheets intact so I know what they're for. Um, and then I got to binge watch. And I do love to binge watch things. <laughs> so yeah, and I like these ones. Like, there's a big enough gap that you can cut it in half and stack them. So I think that's really good. Um, but yeah, those are my Letters to Apollo scripts. I think they're just beautiful. I do love Jessica's handwriting especially the bow versions so if she did more bow stuff um like in normal shop i would love that but yeah this letters to apollo so this is actually two orders from rose colored days i just put them into one of her um thingies cellos because i did a, a number of orders from rose colored days just to slowly collect everything i wanted because um, before I got some holidays, but then she brought out some specific holidays. Um, and then um, I decided next year I want to be able to put the month every week on my planner, like how it used to be in the EC. So, yeah, so I started collecting a bunch from different shops. And this Bros Color Day is my first ones. And I'll show you what my freebies. So she has these business cards that are foiled, but she has, I got two different ones. Think it one to get it, and you are loving your you are living your story. So those are really cute, both in rose gold. Um, and then I got some, I think it's champagne gold um, full boxes, and also some like navy blue. She has tons of different foils, so definitely check those out. And I got two of the August cards, which this is why I'm not that into them because they're plastic um, and they have and I'm never gonna get them in the right time like I'm in the last week of August right now so if I go in hollow and one in silver I don't know I'm just not a huge fan of these honestly especially as an order freebie in that um, I get multiple a month 
in this case I did and I don't get them until the month is over. So I'll go through, I got mostly black and then for the celebrations I actually picked up foil. So I got one of her mini sheets, this is release day. And I thought this would be perfect for when I release art rather than using new releases like with um, stickers because I like to mark SBC new releases. But now I've switched to Wednesday for releasing art, which is the same day as SPC. So this can be like my release day. And I really like this new font that she's using. These are all on clear. And then I picked up three sheets of the um, small bow scripts. So these are hand-lettered by Jessenia of Jessenia Printables. So beautiful. And you actually get two sets of months on each page. So I get... So there's six weeks uh, for each month in here from three pages. I might not always use the same style because as I said, I've been collecting a few different ones. But yeah, I just thought I like to have all these and if I wanted to use them every month, every week of the month, I can. So this is just going to go up in the corner and top of the um, sidebar. But yeah, these are really, really pretty. Uh, and this is the full month rather than like shortened. Yeah, so I just picked those up and I got them in black because I don't have to deal with all the foil colors and being it out without a foil color, blah, blah, blah. You know, black is just easier. Um, but this set I picked up in black and foil. So this is the Nordic Country Celebrations, which I'm really happy about. It's still not perfect for Finland because obviously these are for all the Nordic countries. Um, it has Boxing Day, but I'm pretty sure in Finland it's like it's more St. Stephen's Day. Um, although I come from Australia, we had Boxing Day, so I don't really mind. But I really wanted these for Ascension Day, All Saints Day, Epiphany, 1st of May, Midsummer, Independence Day. Uh, don't have a national day, but yeah, everything else is fine. But yeah, those ones especially, I was like, yes, now I have these. <laughs> to use. So I got them in black. I got them in light gold. I got them in silver. And this time, instead of just normal hollow, I picked up the sparkly hollow. It's real hard to see here, but uh, I think, I feel like sparkly hollow and hollow goes together these days, at least for me. So, because I really love sparkly hollow over the top of normal. So that's why I picked it up in sparkly hollow. But um, yeah, they're really beautiful, like perfect foiling. So I'm really happy about that. So that is my two orders from Rose Colored Days. All right, so here I have my pre-order with One Ton of Million. She did a pre-sale of her Animal Crossing stuff. And I don't play as much Animal Crossing at the moment, but I think when the Full update comes out, I'm going to be really into it because Halloween and historically Animal Crossing has done really cool Halloween stuff. So I'll be into that and also Christmas. <laughs> so you know I'll be back onto it seasonally, but um, yeah, so I'm going to use all this stuff. Uh, it's just, you know, it was a pre-sale so it's been a while. <laughs> um, she just sent it in this really cute menu with all of her wontons, her steam team. I always love um, and I picked and I got the freebie of these seals so I'll show you this the um, sheets in a second but first I did pre-order the charm um, which came on a oh my god this is so tiny my fingers are so fat okay I got it um, so it's like a little charm so it comes actually with a connector so you can unclip it well, it's a bit funky, it's a different gold, but oh well. <laughs> no matter. Um, well, I could just buy one myself, but you know. But it comes with like a little paper clip as well, and then it's just an adorable little clip of one ton dresses Celeste and like praying to the little moon. Really, really pretty. And it's very glittery, if you can tell. Um, but yeah, it's adorable. I had to pick it up. It just seemed really, really cute. And you can just unclip it from the... I didn't do that because I don't like super heavy dangles on my paper clips. But now I have this paper clip too. 
which is perfect. I'm going to put it into my planner. Um, but then I really love this charm. It's really, really cute. So as that, and then we have the sheets of stickers. I didn't get everything. I just got the most general stuff um, that I knew I would use. So we have island visitors. So this is like a like overall sheet of all the island visitors. Well, that's been updated now, <laughs> which I'm sure is annoying. But um, uh, sorry, I got a message <laughs> because now you have like Pascal and everything. But this and Luna. But this is really adorable too. I feel like it makes sense to only have two reds because he never comes. Mm. <laughs> I just want art. And I really love the ghost, actually. He's my favorite. I just think he's so cute. I mean, Celeste is cute and everything, but I just love the ghost. Because I'm spooky. <laughs> and then we have the Taking Off November Oscar London. So because you have um, the two, I can't, I don't want to remember names right now. But you know, you have the traveling and the mystery tickets. Then we have the stock market, which I don't really do because half the time I'm never awake early enough on a Sunday. <laughs> we got fossils. I actually finished the fossils in my museum, but um, you know, I always still have to like get them um, assessed so I can sell them. Then we have bugs, perfect for when there's like. Um, oh my god, with the tarantula. It's too funny. Uh, but this is perfect for there's like a bug off. And then I do love Flick actually. Flick is pretty cool. Then we have, um, what's his name? <laughs> In the Japanese, his name is Justin Bieber. So there's that factoid for you. Uh, but the partner of Flick, which I think is adorable. <laughs> oh my god, little gay boys. Um, I don't do the fishing one as much as... Uh, Flick because he makes you do the fishing challenge first and I can't be bothered. I'm so lazy these days. <laughs> we have those and that's perfect for the fish offs too. The fishing contest. Then I picked up Island Life which is like a lot of you know the general stuff so you can be like if I'm terraforming or go a little balloon hunting and stuff like that for recipes then that would be perfect. And then I just picked up Island Stuff because you gotta have like the Nooks and Isabel and LaBelle and all of um, the uh, little sisters. So yeah, I had to pick that up. It's a bit more general. But these are really, really cute. And it was worth the wait, I think. I think they're really, really nicely designed and perfect size. And of course, these are like beautiful, like buttery vinyl paper. So that is my pre-order from a one ton in a million. So this order is um, not stickers, this is Cat Espresso, and she put in this really pretty Hollow Planner Girl card, um, and just this Cat Espresso in the back. It's a really nice, like, thick card, and it's really adorable. But I picked it up, um, Cat Espresso is really famous for, like, these jelly, um, glittery, starry jelly uh, pockets and things for your plan ring planners and stuff. So this is actually, since I bought this, she brought out an A5 wide size. This is an A5, um, but I kind of like the idea of having layering. And I saw this, who's the YouTuber who has this? Is it China? I think it is her. I'm sorry if that's not you girl and you're watching this. Uh, and if you're watching this and it is you, I will apologize even further. I think it's Sugar Doll Plants. So, um, on YouTube, and she has one of these, I think it's a pink one, and she's an A5, and she just has it on the front, like, in here in the front, I can hear, you can see it better, um, and I like the idea of just, like, the layering, it doesn't have to be the exact same width, but I missed having these dividers like I had in my personal wide, so I'm happy I picked up one with the three pockets, so this has a scallop design across the top and it's just like one big pocket and then you have like two card size pockets down here um, and then there's nothing on the back that keeps it nice and like thin and then yeah you just put it in the ring pocket and you can put all sorts of stuff in here got a vinyl here on the side so 
it would look like that in there. I think that's really adorable. But I could also put like, I don't know, all sorts in here. So I picked one of those up. I might pick up, I don't know if I'll pick up any more because I got two rose colored days of her like top loading dashes. So we'll see how like once everything is fitted in, how it all fits. But this is a really, really nice quality. All the edges are fixed. Um, the holes are really nice. It's like, this isn't, you know, it's, it looks professionally made. So, highly recommend Cat Espresso and her adorable divider pockets. And she has a five wide size now. So, go and get them. So, this is an order from, um, I think it's Day and Moo Co. Um, or it could be Dye. I think it's Day because it's AE. Um, but this is a black owned shop. She is a um, a black woman running this. I think she's actually makes a lot of this stuff like herself. And they're gorgeous. She, she makes like pouches and all sorts. Um, and she just has this beautiful card included and the business card which is like a bit of a sheen. Really pretty. Um, it did come up with a coupon code as well for a second order so that was really really um, generous but I picked up this pouch I just I saw it and it's obviously from my later um, an earlier summer release but she still had some in stock and I think she actually made, she makes them to order so it takes a while so I did actually order this during the whole Black Lives Matter thing I'm like I'm gonna be you know more proactive and I want to support some of these shops and this is just too beautiful. I mean, look at this. So it's like a shaker one, and it's got all these like shells with pearls, even, and like gorgeous confetti. Look at that. And like the way it was packaged and shipped, it meant like everything was actually spread out and not all in one like corner. So it looks, oh, it's just beautiful. And then look at the hollow vinyl, and you just have the white zip. It is immaculately made, it is beautiful, it's a great size, oh, I love it, I'm freaking dying, I can't believe I own this beauty, you can still shake it around, um, but I do like how these are spaced out a bit better, oh my gosh, it's beautiful, you should definitely check out um, Deamu, just everything she makes is beautiful and I definitely want more. <laughs> um, I know I just I don't have a huge need for pouches but this will fit into my collection. I love it too much. So definitely go check out her shop and get yourself some pouches. They're beautiful. Okay we're up to the part of the haul where we go through Scribble Prince Co. So we're going to go through all that. I have July mystery um, and her shipping has just been crazy. Well, her shipping has been great and then shipping to my US box has actually been really good. But when um, they have been like totally backlogged because they're in Florida. So I understand they need to keep safe and um, not just work as normal. So they've been like sort of behind. <laughs> so this is actually a lot of this stuff is really early um and including july mystery and i currently have august mystery at my box and i may possibly have september mystery next time I, as well when i haul so <laughs> it's been taking a while but oh well just the nature of it so i'm sure you've all seen the july mystery so that doesn't matter but after i show all the spc stuff we'll get into the planner girl things but let's go through SPC. Um, I got all my freebies here. I like to be organized before I film. <laughs> Make sure I have all my freebies apart and all my foil. Blah, blah, blah. See, one of these is pretty old. Like, I've got the um, Juneteenth freebie, adorable. And this is like, um, she worked with uh, Plan Her Paper. So cute, and I've got the journaling card for BLM as well as a hollow bow. And then on the back, well, I just put this here, it wasn't an invoice. <laughs> I just got a cute little note from Kirsten. Hope you're doing well. I am. Oh my god, I 
I wish you could still do notes on your orders on SPC. I understand why she turned it off because people are silly. <laughs> but I would just be like, I'd write all these comments to Kirsten if I could. But yeah, but hey girl, thank you. I always appreciate you and your hard work. Um, and then we have these freebies at sticky notes. Yes, could always do with sticky notes. And was this one of my orders or is it an extra? Have I already gotten this? I don't I can't remember. I feel like I think this is actually when I the one I bought. So it's been that long. But this is the like LGBTQ um plus like cute little um charity um fundraising vinyl that SBC did with once more with love, and I just love how it's got the trans flag, the inclusive gay flag, bi flag, and a lesbian flag. I just think they're so cute, all of them together, like the main lot. And then, of course, you can have all the flags. Um, but I think it's adorable having these ones. So I'm happy to have that. I'll put that in my planner. So I have some... Um, Script freebies here just in gold. You just get a few like normal scripts, so I love those. I got these little hollow gems. Hollow is so hot, especially with my new lighting setup. But there you go. Look at the rainbow. But yeah, they're like little gems um, that came from the six year bundle. You can buy them separately. And then I think these are the same, and then this one's different. So these are both. Um, uh, Jessica's freebies. So I, was, I, I assume they had this made before they got rid of the promo. Um, so now they're just giving them as freebies, which I can't complain about. <laughs> so here's Rose Gold. We've got some. Is it a bougie box? I think it is. Yeah, we got a, a bougie box. Just a girl who decided to go for it, which is a really cute. Um, Hand lettering then, then you got film day appointment and Starbucks run, and I got that in rose gold in hollow. And then I got um, Kirsten's, which I love. Love this uh, simple line box. Like it's like they don't even sell those anymore, but you know, Kirsten loves them, so it's on her freebie. <laughs> um, and then it says dream hard, work harder. I definitely get that. Um, and then we have payday, laundry, and work and rose gold. So great freebies. And then I'll show you, oh yeah, even more freebies. I ended up with three rack bags. And I feel like last time I got a rack bag, they didn't come with foil yet. And now two of these are foil, which I'm like, oh my God. And I think I have both foils, so I can go and include them in my wiggle binder. But let's have a look at this first one. Look at that beautiful like, sticker for the rack bag. <laughs> Um, so I got two sheets of this um, pink sparkle, which I think I do have as a bit of a rainbow. Um, so we just got the twinkle and the line and then with the icons and the date numbers. And it looks like I got some of the sprinkles kit. Oh, I got a ton of it. <laughs> so we got the full box hot checklist. Then we have this page. I didn't realize scrimple, sprinkles are so old to format, but uh, I love these papers that I did in these colors. I used sprinkles for. Is this no? This isn't sprinkles. My gosh, am I going nuts? No, this is the one beforehand. <laughs> this is like hollow birthday or something. Anyway, I still have that tucked away. I think. So I could actually put these extras with that. And then I could actually give Lauren two of these. Anyway, we'll see. i got to go through my collection. But that was a birthday set. A ton of functionals. Um, and then this is part of the bow lilac wiggle, I think. So the food, the icon state covers, and then one of these main pages. I mean, these are obviously all misfit, but I don't know. It's probably just Kirsten being like over the top, <laughs> which no one should complain about. Um, and then this is her date leftovers. So you have some book sampler, 
at the Deco Mall checklist. Put those aside. Oh my god, the bottom washi. It's actually my favorite part of this kit. I just love the way this pattern came out. So, yeah, that's some of her day. Um, and then we have this one doesn't have foil, but it has this beachy kit, which was just a mini. And I actually have this, so this will be really useful to have. So is this for like really light? The sun came out. Hopefully it's a bit better for you guys. The sun came out and made everything even more bright. Um, so now I have way more boxes and little things to go with this mini kit, probably for next summer. And I didn't actually get the Fashion Girls, so yeah, I'm going to go add that to that kit. So super nice, I didn't end up using it. Now I got some foil that I bought. Got some wiggles. Um, oh, what's happening here? Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I feel like it's happy when it's zoomed in. Okay. So I got some clips. Okay, first I just got two full box overlays. I ran out of these splatter ones, so I just picked up a silver and a gold. I might have to do a big foil order soon. Um, yeah. And then I got a bunch of the newer scripts. So I got the With My Love. Really, really pretty. I got them in full four. Love that. Because With My Love, it's really nice and gender neutral. So it's perfect for marking and doing things with luck. Then we have it with the girls. And I thought this could be like if we do video chats. Um, and if we like do Animal Crossing again. It's like with the girls would be nice. And then I did paint nails. Which I was waiting for these ones because <laughs> that's, that's how I'm doing nails. I don't get nail appointments anymore. So really looking forward to having all of those. And they're nice and small actually all of them. So they'll fit on all the boxes and then let me just unwrap these foils so I apologize in advance but both of these wiggles sold out uh, because they they are misfit and so she marked them down and you know they went down to like before Friday they were like five dollars uh, I only bought one of one of them but I bought two of this one this is like aqua prism and I love the prism stuff, like, I, I gotta buy all the prisms, because look at that, look at that, it's beautiful. Um, but they sold out really fast, because they were super cheap, and they are pretty misfitty. Like, not in terms of ruining the stickers, but in terms of the sheets are dirty AF. <laughs> um, this is like a twinkle design, so that if you haven't seen a wiggle before, they're just like a bundle of foil that used to come out on Wednesdays, but now all of her releases are on Wednesdays, cause, but they're still called Wiggles. Here's some little deco, some food. Oh my god. I just freaking love the prism. I love it. And you can see the... Um, you can see all this dirt up here. It doesn't affect the sticker, but, you know. It's there, so these sheets are pretty much perfect. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, the way the prism is in the headers. I love it. We get, um, yeah, so you all that, you know, <laughs> you've seen these before. That is the aqua prism. Sorry, it's sold out. And then this one sold out as well. And this one is, was called Bonfire. And it has a really cool um, orange shift. I don't really cut all oh, there. You see, kind of like a fiery shift, like with yellow, orange, sort of reddish. It's like a red, orange, yellow shift. I don't know. It's kind of there. But yeah, I just thought this would be great for um, a Halloween or an autumn spread. So I picked that one up, uh, but I only picked up one. I don't know why I didn't get just two, but uh, whatever. <laughs> that was pretty, seemed like, that sold out really fast. So I think, you know, everyone wanted lots of them. So next I picked up three 
Moving on from the foil, I picked up three monthly kits, and these are for, for the Aura Estelle monthly, which is a different size to the standard um, LP. So these are actually like the size of a, the boxes are the normal size of a full box, like width. But I picked up all three because I'm going to use it next year, and it'll be just nice to have. They don't have months on them, so I just thought it'd just be nice to have them lying around. <laughs> Um, we have Eleved, the Visco Girl Mystery, and Magig. So these are all <laughs> these are all me. Sorry, um, but they're all the same except I did get two sidebars in the Visco. So I'll show you that. So it's much like her other her monthlies. It's just everything's a bit smaller and more catered to the Aura Still size. Um, and the inserts are up on her website. They're undated, but I believe on the grapevine. I'm not going to say, but new stuff for next year. Um, so I'm waiting to pick those up. <laughs> but just like I, I think because I've demanded it personally, no, that there should be dated monthlies coming, hopefully, maybe. Otherwise, I'll just buy the undated ones. No biggie. Um, that's what I'm waiting for for next year, not to start. But hopefully I'm not in trouble now. I'm sorry. Uh, but I think we all, I think some of us would like it dated, right? Um, but yeah, so you can get the two different, you can choose which sidebar you want, decorative or list. And I picked up the decorative one for this, but I think I meant to get the list one because I actually want to use the lists. Um, so yeah, but then uh, apparently they had, an error, like, they had an error with this. So they actually threw in this sidebar for everyone. And then I was like, what? Oh, I actually ordered the decorative. I didn't mean to. And it, it's not important. <laughs> Moving on. Then we have the monthly set itself. It's so light. The camera's not liking it. Um, and the sun's gone. Anyway, so we have the front page with the two things at the top. And then you can put the month over here. Um, like a foil stick and you have some deco. You have a whole bunch of boxes. Which I think became the mini kit sheet because it's so beautiful. Then you have some, so like boxes to rock out days in the month or um, decorate with, and then some big boxes to like put events in. So that is the monthly kit for the Aura Estelle inserts. Um, yeah, so I just got those three designs to hoard. Okay, so I only got one kit in this order, and that's not a mystery. I don't know. I thought I had a bunch more kits in here, but I think they arrived after I requested the box. So we just have one for now. Um, this is Boho Vibes, and I'm not entirely into Boho stuff, but I kind of really loved the colors, and I thought the art was cute, so I picked it up. I don't know. <laughs> And because I messed up with shipping, this might be like my start of fall kits, like transition kits. Um, because I won't have that other kit in time now, but I will. <laughs> it's still cute. I'm looking forward to using it in my planner. It's just a bunch of boho vibes. I know some people are like, meh, about using the term boho. Bohemian sort of links, but I don't know. It's a really cute kit. Otherwise, I really like this girl. It's very Coachella. Um, but yeah, so I thought the colors are really nice. I like this girl with the plaits. She is cute. Um, but yeah, I think I just fell in love with the colors, honestly, so that's why I picked it up. I'll probably be using it in September now. I do like this bottom washi. I think that's really pretty. Um, and then this is the kit freebie, the text, um, the clear black text. Stickers, scripts, um, and then I got the glitter headers, the 15 millimeter, and the label samplers. I'm actually wondering, like, what like foil would go with this? And I'm thinking rose gold would be cute. You probably didn't hear that, but my my cat just did the biggest weird sleepy whiny trumpet. But anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to use this very soon. And it is really pretty, so. Uh, that was the Boho Vibes. And then this is July Mystery. So I was kind of bummed about the holes that I watched with July Mystery because seemingly everyone didn't like it. <laughs> and I guess the thing with July Mystery is, yeah, I drew it. And I also thought up the idea, um, like an autumn witchy thing. Like an autumn witch was my idea and they were like trying to do more autumn so it appeals to more people. And then everyone was like, I hate plaid even though plaid is like awesome. So I don't know. I think this set is freaking gorgeous and I'm living for it and I hope it gets re-released even though everyone hated it because I'd like to do it again but I'm definitely using this in the autumn and I'll just have to be the lone lover of this set because I love it. I don't care what other people think <laughs> but I was bummed especially because I spent so much time and effort on this set like extra time because we did two scenes and oh my god I'm so proud of this scene like the way I did the windows and the way I did the lights and it just looks so cozy and you got like a little book here and a candle and a plant and I was so proud of this art set I thought it looked so good that everyone's like this is ugly <laughs> and like everyone's subjective like art is subjective not everyone's gonna love it but I'm still bummed and petty about it. And this is a die cut of the books. Um, it didn't print off, so this is like a mistake, like oopsie freebie, because it didn't print off like the way it does look in the kit, but I don't care. Um, I was really proud of the books. I actually finished them, and then I was looking at the file, like, I don't really like, I don't think this looks great, so I actually went back into it. I did more shading, I added gold bits, I, I did all sorts more. So a lot of this is like, I really put a lot of detail and effort into it and I'm like so sad because I thought it, everyone would think it was epic. But I guess you can't win them all. But the kit freebie for mysteries are the premium matte labels. So we got that in gold. And we have a gold star wiggle. Um, so it just goes with the normal gold and just it's beautiful. Um, and then with freebies, of course, is the ultimate mystery, so you get the 15mm as well as the foil and everything. Glitter headers and the label sampler. And just, I don't know, I see this and I'm like, I'm in love. But maybe I just see like literal hours and hours of work. Like this scene, it just took so long. And I added all these little extra like florals to the teacups. And then here I added little florals to the booties to make them extra like detailed. You know, I did the tartan and made sure it actually followed along with the scarf rather than just putting in a pattern. I drew these dang mushrooms and this log and drawing wood and log is like hard. <laughs> Especially these trees and drawing forests and I don't know. I put so much effort into it so I love it and I can't wait to put it in my planner. I think it's beautiful. You have like this antique key and these like crystals. So you have like these little touches of witchiness. Um, but then it's also just a beautiful autumn kit. And it doesn't actually make me think a lot of the autumns in Finland because it gets so beautiful and orange here. Yeah, so I love it. And I love the go like the dimples. I thought she looked super cute. And then you just have like this little outfit, like the corduroy overall skirt and then floor like the ruffly top and then this girl holding the leaf and then I put like detail into her rings I don't know I love it uh, and then you have like a lighter version of that little teacup yeah I don't know I think it's really pretty I love it oh god wait to use it um, I'm probably gonna be like, using like the end of September to transfer into um, into Halloween so I think that's like it's got autumn but also witchy vibes and got all the plaid and then you have this sheet with all the fashion girls so like the curvy um, witchy woman with the pixie haircut which I love a little German shepherd and then you have full of that girl and the full of the scene I think I'm gonna put the scene in the sidebar I think so because we do have this girl 
And these are like the cutest part of it, I think. That's hard decision. And then I'll put this girl in. Yeah, so I love July Mystery. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of the pieces I actually like, I finished and then I went back and I added more because it wasn't enough. I wanted it to be detailed. Um, and then these bottles, they scribble prints come on them. Like screw prints good company. It's really like the old timey bottle thing. I don't know. I just really enjoy it. So that was July mystery in the end of the stickers. So I'm just gonna quickly go over the candles I got from Bath and Body Works. I actually just buy single um single wick candles because my palm is small enough that I can just light one of these and it just fills up the entire apartment and like the whole living room smells like leaves right now <laughs> this is a very intense candle so I got leaves and I got blueberry maple pancakes and they have really nice black screw on lids um so blueberry maple pancakes smells like wild blueberries grill of fresh pancakes and walnut maple syrup I think right now I'm getting mostly um there's definitely the maple syrup and the pancakes, like, it smells just like pancakes, and then right at the end you get, like, the hit of blueberry. I've, like, really fallen in love with blueberry lately, <laughs> and I think, uh, did I have the hand soap in this last time? I picked, I didn't have the candle of it, but I had another product with this flavor from La, this flavor, I hate when people say that, this smell, because you don't taste it, um, from last year so I was like I really loved this so I'm going to pick it up because so I've had a uh, waffle and pancake ones before but the hint of blueberry just adds like a level of freshness versus the sweet pancake and maple and it's like a bit more fresh I think so if you like like the sweet scents but you want slightly something different blueberry maple pancakes and I love this um this chalkboard sort of label for the single then of course I had to pick up the leaves tried and true that is crisp red apple golden nectar and warm clove spice oh yeah that's the stuff so um my partner look thinks it just smells like potpourri and it has like a slight potpourri scent at the end I think but for me it smells exactly like the apple sauce my nana would make me as a child um, it's like our main dessert as a child and even like Christmas and everything she would make fresh apple sauce and it was usually pretty chunky and you know she made cooked up the apples and everything and it smelled just like leaves so it really brings me back to childhood events <laughs> um, and my Nana who has passed on. All my grandparents have died now, but um, it makes me think of her. So I really, really love leaves for that. And it's like, it's sweet, but not like, because it's apple. But then the clove really brings in a more, yeah, I guess potpourri, sandwichy, spicy flavor, flavor smell. Um, I guess these are like food taste, food flavors, but um, yeah, so I really love both these candles. So I'm really enjoying, really gonna enjoy burning these probably for the whole year until autumn next year. I only really have to buy like two candles, honestly. Um, it's just how much I use them. I don't like sitting them or having them sit around burning all the time, uh, especially because my cat, she, when she was young, she once touched the flame and I like, you know, obviously it hurt her. It didn't burn her, but um, ever since then she's had like a grudge. So every time she sees a flame, she's like, I'm going to have to touch you because you're evil. And it's like, you're, you're an idiot. Like, it hurts because you touch it. So stop trying to touch it. But, you know, she needs her revenge. Um, so we can't, <laughs> we can't burn them all the time and can't leave them too unattended. Because <laughs> our cat's an idiot. All right, and then I've got some... Nail polishes, just two here, and um, a cuticle oil. So all of these three are from NCLA, and I got really dark in here, so mind me. Hopefully it's a bit lighter for you guys. All right, 
Um, so I've been really loving NCLA and Picture Polish. Um, yeah, I wanted some darker colors for um, the upcoming season. So this is actually, I think, a newish autumn range. Um, it's called Eat Pie Drink Wine, and it is a very dark, plummy, red purple. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. It almost comes up brownish, but there's like a purple tinge to it. It makes me think of that like super famous 90s, was it Chanel nail polish? But I love it. But it chipped like right away after I put it on. I've actually trimmed my nails since then. Um, that's my, you know, if I have chipped nails, I just cut them and then they have a bit more life. <laughs> uh, but this chipped, like it came, went on perfectly, like thick, glossy, no issues, no streaking. Um, I did do two, I still did two like layers of it, but it was, it's a gorgeous nail polish, but it chipped right away. But I don't know if that's because like a thing happened to me, which was kind of traumatic and it just chipped during that drama. So I don't know, but um, just something to keep in mind. And then this is an older one from the, um, I'm just shaking it up. <laughs> They, my nail polishes lie down in a drawer, which is probably not good for them. Um, but this is from their like uh, horoscope astrology set, and I have the Libra one, which is like a light blue. But I just loved the look of this like beautiful Cadbury dark purple. If you know Cadbury, you understand. Um, it's obviously not Cadbury purple because that's trademarked. But yeah, and this is Sagittarius, but. I know, I already got Libra, so I want this one. Um, it's just a beautiful purple. I haven't tried that one out yet, but it looks great. And then I picked up the one of the cuticle oils as well. So it comes in like the same bottle. Um, and I tried it out after this one and it was really nice. Um, and it is so rich apple pie taste, uh, smelling, oh my god. <laughs> so it's apple pie smelling which I always thought was perfect for the season coming up and it really smells like like this pie at the end but it mostly smells like candy apple with a bit of warmth of the pie and it lasts in your fingers for hours <laughs> maybe the whole day so if you know you want nice smells I would definitely look at NCLA's cuticle oil it has vitamin E in it I don't know and the company is like vegan and cruelty free. It's made in the US. Um, yeah, and it doesn't have any of this harmful, toxic stuff. So definitely check those out if you want more like, these are like more boutique expensive nail polishes, but they're really nice. Um, at least the cuticle I think is definitely worth them. But that is everything. That is everything for this haul. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I hope you enjoyed the extra bits at the end there. I feel like those are two things us planner people are into, so I thought I'd share them. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!